Hi guys, this is Leslie and Sassy Jess from Leslie Loves Veggies. You know what we got, Jess? Mm-hmm. What we got? Something that I'm going to enjoy. It's another cookbook from Robert Rose Inc. And Robert Rose Inc., we love your cookbooks. Yes. I have, re if, if you are looking for a Robert Rose cookbook and you want a good review, you want to go to my blog, leslielovesveggies.net, and you will find reviews for a ton of Robert Rose cookbooks. I've reviewed them, and I don't think there's one that I haven't liked. There was one that I really couldn't utilize that much because it was, um, it used um, a baby um, cake pop maker, I think it was. But I mean, that's a good book for someone who's looking for something like that. I mean, who has cookbooks like that? Robert Rose does. Just they have a cookbook for everything. And our library has a ton of Robert Rose cookbooks too. Hmm. So they're not just, they're, they're a Canadian company, but I mean, Americans love their cookbooks. This one's called Vegan Every Day, 500 Delicious Recipes by Douglas McNish. Now, me and Jessica are vegetarians. Mm -hmm. I try to eat vegan whenever I can. I was a vegan for about five years, and I went back to being a vegetarian, but I, I just, m most of my diet is plant-based. Once in a while, I might have, you know, something like a yogurt or an egg white, but I really try to stick. I mean, is chocolate vegan? Dark chocolate, I think, is, it's I mean, not that's with my, the milk. That's, I mean, I just, Jessica, I really, I, I can't give that up, but guess what? Mm -hmm. I don't have to. There's chocolate recipes. I know. In vegan every day. How is this, I mean, I have other vegan cookbooks. I have one vegan cookbook, and it's based on, like, junk food. And I love it. I love it. But how is this vegan cookbook different than other vegan cookbooks? Well, it's got a variety, mm -hmm. number one. And you can look through the book based on if you're entertaining, holidays. And then it's got um, Do you know that the recipes seasonings in here? that you can use. And like you said, when, when pe people switch from, like, even vegetarian to vegan, you miss the tastes of like say, like such as cheese. cheese. So what's a good substitute for cheese? You nutritional yeast. Right, and I have nutritional yeast in the pantry and I love it. Not only are these recipes all vegan, Jessica, they're all gluten free. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. This book starts out with the staples in a vegan pantry. So if you're a veg, I mean I'm a vegetarian, I know what, you know, what, what to buy, but sometimes I'm perplexed, like what do I need you know, to really have the things on hand. And if you're not prepared, you know you're not going to stick to it. Mm -hmm. And you, know, you want to make a recipe and then you don't have the products. And you know, I mean, you can make anything. I, really I, the one thing I really thought was interesting was I learned about xanthan gum. You know, you see those ingredients on stuff that you never you know. know what that what, is? It's a caking agent, it's a, but it's made from corn. And it's th it thickens. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you want to make like a, a soup or something like that, it is a thickening agent. Now, the vegan pantry, it tells you how to stock your pantry using whole foods, not junk, not Garbage. garbage. So it's got things like seasonings, you know, balsamic vinegar, rice vinegar, dry mustard, hot sauce, mirin, mm -hmm. um, miso. I love miso. I know you love you some miso. Nutritional I love miso yeast. Soup. Right. It's got the oils miso. you'll need. I mean, that you want to use the the natural, healthiest oils like grapeseed oil, hemp seed oil, mm -hmm. and they should be cold pressed. Once they're processed, Jessica, that I mean, that really takes the it it, it takes the nutrition. It does. Um, coconut products, coconut butter, coconut oils, coconut cream. Coconut and sugar, it mimics brown sugar, right? Yes, it's, and it supposedly is better for you. I can't... Because it's got minerals in it. Mm -hmm. Nuts and seeds, grains, such as millet, oats, quinoa, teff. I mean, we, I have, I keep these things in my pantry as is, but there's things that I don't, I, mean, I just don't think to keep in my pantry, like brown rice Asian noodles. I mean, I, I just wouldn't think to have that. Raw cocoa powder, xanthan gum. This is if you're going to bake. Maca root powder. Arrowroot. And I had arrowroot and I used it all, but I have to get some more of that. So then, and I, before I tell you something about the recipes, I want to tell you in the back of the book, it's called Vegan Basics. And it tells you, these are the products that you, um, that you just, they're, they're, that you want to keep in your, um, in your arsenal of vegan products that, that use the most in vegan cooking. So it's on page 529. Let me get to that. So, say you want to make vegan lasagna. You know, what's the basis for vegan lasagna? You know, cheese. There's a recipe for herb tofu ricotta. It doesn't have ricotta in it, Jess, because ricotta is not, is not right, vegan. Right, right. So mm -hmm. what do you think it, it's based on? I don't know. Tofu. Okay. It's got tofu, nutritional yeast, oregano leaves, sea salt, and basil. So you don't have to say, oh, I want to make lasagna, but, and I want to make cheese lasagna, but uh, well, how am I going to do that? There's a recipe for the, the, the guts of the lasagna, the ricotta right here. Cashew cheddar cheese. You don't have to give up cheese. Um, easy pasta sauce. Easy cheesy pasta sauce. 
Holiday gravy. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. we love gravy, Jessica. And it's vegan. It's, it's very, very hard to find a commercial, even vegetarian vegan. They're all made with chicken broth, beef broth. It's, it, you're stuck if you don't know how to make a vegan gravy. Mm-hmm. Um, how to um, make preserved lemons, gluten-free croutons. And you know if you eat gluten-free, you know you crave crunchy, bready type stuff. You know, you're out on, you're, you're out on, your, on your luck. Yeah. No luck. The one thing I'd miss is chocolate chip cookies. And guess what? They're in here. Yeah, they really are, Jessica. Mm-hmm. They're, in the dessert, they're in the desserts. Yes. So it starts with breakfast. Then it goes to juices, smoothies, and non-dairy milks. I read that, Jessica, and you know what? I use all kinds of um, non-dairy milks. I use cashew milk. I use almond milk. I used to um, pine away like how to make them. And years ago, the recipes were off the wall. They were so difficult. You had to do this. And oh my gosh, there's even a recipe in here for um, po- um, popped tart, tart juice. juice. And it's made with whole strawberries, grapes, apples, and pineapple. Mm-hmm. Justice would love that. Mm-hmm. But the milks, they have like... Um, Carrot, cashew, ginger milk. And it's not hard to make, Jessica. Hemp and chia milk. Green milk. And the basis of the green milk is kale. Salted caramel pistachio milk. Jessica, they don't take that long to make. Well, you know what's the rave um, with, you know, when, when you go to, okay, so you don't know what you're getting when you when you order the matcha stuff from Starbucks. Uh-uh. Turn to page 41. You can make your own matcha drink. Do you order those when you go out? No, but I've heard the, the, the rave. So it's matcha me green juice. And I think that's almost like what you get when you order it from Starbucks. Yes, it's got green tea powder, water, kale leaves, celery, stoka celery, cucumber, and ginger root. That's nice, Jessica. Mm-hmm. It's as much as available in most well-stocked supermarkets and natural food stores. Nice. And if you want it um, extra spicy, just add more ginger. Yep. That's nice. Let me tell you, Jessica, for breakfast, I'm, I'm not usually stuffed for breakfast items, but you know... Snacks and side dishes. Mm-hmm. Maddie is still Maddie is. I really don't want her to eat meat, Jessica. I really don't. Just Justice, unfortunately, he eats meat like his dad. But fresh fruit pops. Mm-hmm. I don't know what a power ball is, but let's look what a, what a power ball is. Because Jessica, this is what anybody would do when they get the cook. They peruse it and see. Whoa, what looks right. good? These dense, these protein dense treats are a guilt free way to satisfy your craving for something sweet. They're made with dates. And dates are sticky and sweet. When you get your dates, just kind of cut the, the the top and the bottom off, squeeze them a little bit, make sure there's nothing inside because they're very, very sweet and they grow and, um, you know, they can have little bugs in them. Mm, so you, not. you know, so you want to open them up and look in each date because they are, they are um, famous for being, and I don't want to say they're infected or they're infested, but bugs will, you know, get in there. So just check your, check your dates. So this recipe has dates, almonds, cashews, hemp seeds, chia, vanilla powder, and sea salt. I mean, that's easy enough to make, and that's mm-hmm. something that Maddie would like, and I think Justice would like that, too. Well, you know what Justice would love if you turn to page 26. Wow, Justice, it's you memorize this. It's an old favorite. No, I was just really, really, really excited. Fall for another oh sandwich. Oh, my gosh. You want to sing it? Oh, oh you'll, you'll enjoy, joy, joy, your fluff and peanut butter. Don't think we don't know it. Mm-hmm. We do. That was a staple when I was a kid. So this recipe has hazelnut cocoa powder, agave nectar, vanilla powder, blueberries, strawberries, English muffins. Yeah, he would love that. Mm-hmm. Be sure to use raw, not processed agave nectar. This is a great cookbook. It is. And Jessica, you know, I don't like to make, everything in this book is, is not hard to make. It's easy. But, you know, if I'm entertaining and I want to, like, really, really put the dog on and um, and uh, try to make myself look better than I really am, because Lord only, I'm a good cook, but Jessica, I don't cook fancy. You know I don't cook fancy. I mean, I don't. I just don't, Jessica. I'm, you know, I'm a mother and a wife. I don't have time for that. But you can make this recipes in here for beet cakes with braised fennel and creamed Swiss chard. I mean, who wouldn't love that? Michael might not like it, but I would like it. <laughs> Crispy, no crab cakes with creamy coleslaw. Ooh, Dad would go up crazy for that. Alley. He would go crazy for that. And the crab cake itself is made out of tofu. And there is a recipe in here for vegan mayonnaise. That's, that sounds delicious, Jessica. I might be pilfering for this book. Holiday lentil loaf with quinoa instead of a, you know, tofurkey. Because Jessica, mm. the tofurkey is cute, but Jessica, you know how they taste? Sometimes they taste like socks. Spaghetti squash stuff with tofu and spinach. I love spaghetti squash. We make spaghetti squash a lot. I mean, it's just delicious. So, all you right. even make yourself a hash. But what's the most important part of this book? Um, that it's vegan, it's gluten-free, and it's better for you. What recipes do you think you would hit first, Jessica? Um, well, definitely page 57. It's for kids. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you got your holiday because I love me some eggnog, um, and I think that's on page 60. Mm-hmm. And you had, um, 
the acai super bowl, super food, super food bowl. I think is that a salad? Acai? No, it's like a fruit. It's like a frozen fruit fruit uh, bowl. But you lie. You is a liar. What do you mean? I know the first thing you hit up would be the white chocolate macadamia cookies. I don't like white chocolate, but I do love cookies, and I love me some some chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, huh? That's good. So you're telling me that the first thing you wouldn't make in this book? Yes, ma'am. Is the perfect chocolate chip cookies? Mm -hmm. They're vegan, Jessica. They are vegan. They're gluten-free, Jessica. Mm -hmm. What's not to love about them? This recipe makes three dozen, and it contains gluten-free flour blend, gluten-free baking powder, so baking soda, you know, the typical things, coconut oil, coconut sugar, non-dairy milk, and it gives you tips on that. Jessica, you can use in this book, you can, in this recipe, you can use almond milk, cashew milk, hemp and chia milk. Jessica, what's not to love? Right. What's not to love? What goes in your body is what's fueling you. I mean, I'm, I'm guilty as the next guy, Jessica. Man, I just need to lose a couple pounds. I really do. But I don't want to give up chocolate chip cookies. I don't want to give up peanut butter cookies. I don't want to give up muffins. I don't want to give up apple strudel. I don't have to. These recipes are made with whole ingredients. They're better for you. They're vegan and they're gluten free. I may be a little chubby, Jessica. I may have a little junk in your trunk. junk in my trunk. My cholesterol is 150. That's good. And my Mine's HDL not. is high. My HDL is high, so I have a good ratio because I just don't eat meat and I do rely. I just my appetite knows no bounds. But uh, but I digress. This book is fabulous. If you're if you're already vegan, if you're looking to go vegan. If you're a vegetarian, you want to add more vegan in, vegan meals in your diet. If your husband is a meat eater and you want to get him eating a meatless Monday meal. Right. One day a week. One day a week. That makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. Back in the day, I'll never forget this. I was, I've been a vegetarian for 30 years. Back in the day, I was so excited. And I said to my husband, hey, honey, I'm going to make you a veggie burger. And he said, okay. It was beautiful. It had lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, onions, it was like, Jessica, it looked like a food stylist made it. Ketchup dripping out the side on a bun. He took one bite and he went, I ain't eating this. This ain't a veggie burger. This is a mimic burger, Leslie. He threw it in the garbage pail, which hurt, which hurt my heart. But, I mean, you know, back then, stuff wasn't that great, and I was just new to, to vegetarian and vegan cooking. Today, Jessica, if I make a vegan meal, he'll eat it. But, mm -hmm. I mean, I want to make it interesting and exciting for him and make him look forward to it, not just to eat it, but I want him to make I want him to salivate and really look forward to it and say, oh, can you make that again? Mm -hmm. So that's what this cookbook will do. Whether you're a vegetarian, whether you're a vegan, whether you're a meat eater, you want something like this in your cookbook library because, hey, I mean, I can make, I can throw rice and beans together any night. That's vegan. But I really don't, even being a vegetarian this long, it's hard for me to it's get, yeah, it's hard for me to get in the groove and just make something different. I really learn the same things every day. Mm -hmm. So I do like this cookbook. Robert Rose Inc. Thank you for sending this cookbook for review. I really like it. I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm going to enjoy using it. If you want to borrow it, you can borrow it. But Thank this you. one's staying at my house. Oh. Anyway, if you, what? So you don't get an attitude, Missy. I'm not Do not attitude. get an attitude with me. I am, you are not too old for me to pick you up by the bootstraps and blister your behind. No, but I might be too heavy. And I'm faster than you are. Make no bones about it. Make no bones Make about no it. Make no bones about it. I will get the, the, the zapper. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Not a thumbs down. Who does that? Shame on you. And be sure to sub subscribe. Um. Mm. 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 I think it's like, like right, like, like right, right there. Mm -hmm. There. Be sure to subscribe, guys. Guys, have a great day. Bye. Bye.